One thing you don't have to worry about right now, the tropics. No development expected in the next five days. And we've actually seen not a lot of activity recently, but that's not unusual. It's not unusual for us to only see one or two storms, maybe three, up until this point in hurricane season. June and July, typically very inactive. But as we get into August and September, we know that we see that big jump in the tropical activity. And between the two months, 61% of all named storms typically form in uh, August and September, with the peak of hurricane season being September 10th. Then we see a drop off after that. So we just got into August. We are going into September. We know that most of that activity is yet to come. It's just the past couple of years that have us kind of on edge, right? And uh, we've only seen three storms this year so far. But when we look at the past few years, last year up until this point, we had five named storms already. The year before that, 2020, we had already had eight named storms. But then when you look at the total storms for the entire year, most of those storms came after the J June and July months here. 2021, we had 21 named storms. 2020, we had 30. Of course, that was an active year. And even before that, we had most of those storms form in August and September. Now, again, this year we've had three storms. We already used Alex, we used Bonnie, we used Colin. We're headed for Danielle, Earl, and Fiona. We will likely use these names moving forward because, Lee, we're still expecting that above average season for the rest of the year. Yes, yeah, so we certainly don't want anyone to get become complacent even though over the next five days thanks to some of this saharan dust still coming off africa we're not expecting any of those storms to form in the short term second half of august and september row we will get much more active